Good afternoon, grade 10 students. Welcome to our day 2 of our first quarter. Before we begin, make sure that your eyes and ears are focused on the video because any disturbance may lead to confusions or not understanding the discussions clearly. So, ready yourselves. Before we proceed to our discussion for this afternoon, let me introduce to you first the first lesson of this module. The first lesson of this module is all about discovering personal challenges. In this lesson, you'll answer one enduring question about life, that is, how does discovering personal challenge create a deeper understanding of your innermost sense of self? So this will be your journey. Eckhart Tolle once said, when you lose touch with inner stillness, you lose touch with yourself. When you lose touch with yourself, you lose yourself in the world. Your innermost sense of self of who you are is inseparable from stillness. I am that is deeper than your name and form. In your previous journeys, you have been provided with a lot of opportunities to explore and improve yourself. Now that you are in the final stage of your junior high school years, what is the lesson promises is to teach you how to increase your effectiveness in responding to problems that challenge your innermost sense of self, your I am that is deeper than your name and form. These are your objectives for the first lesson. So first, use textual aids in understanding better the text. Second, get information from various text types that can be used in everyday life. Third, determine how connected events contribute to the totality of a material viewed. Fourth, differentiate formal from informal definition of words. Fifth, explain how the elements specific to a selection build their th theme. Sixth, identify features of persuasive text. Seventh, identify the elements of public speaking needed to effectively engage in meaningful communication. And lastly, use reflexive pronouns to create meaningful discourse. Before we proceed to our topic for this day, let's have an activity first. So this will be your initial task. And the activity that you will be doing is entitled with blocks that block. So each block represents a saying or well-known phrase. So I want you to identify the phrase or idiom graphically presented in each square. You may write your answers in a one-fourth sheet of paper. And you only have 1 minute and 30 seconds to answer this activity. Okay, you may begin. Time is up. Let's begin checking your answers. So in block number one, the answer is belittled because as you can as you compare it to the other blocks, two, three, four, five, and six, 
it is the only block that was written smaller than the others. So the answer would be B. Lil. Next, block number 2. The answer in block number 2 is late. Because, as you can see, the word never was written with a line in the center of the word. So that means the word was not included in the block. So the answer is late. Block number 3. The answer is lost. Why? Because, as you can see, the word has four endpoints. And it was written in a cross sh shape like a crossroad. So if you happen to encounter this road that you never crossed before, what would you think? Some would say, are you lost, baby girl? So the answer is lost. Block number 4. The answer in block number 4 is troubled. Why? This is because as you can see in the word or the in the block, the word I'm was surrounded by the word trouble. So simply, simply the answer is troubled. Next, block number 5. So the answer in block number 5 is here we go again because as you can see in block number five the word history was written three times right so the answer is here we go again and lastly the block number six the answer in block number six is forgotten because if you observe the word carefully the last letter of the word forgotten is not written boldly so the n was not written boldly right so it was not written boldly unlike the other letters like f o r g o t c e so the letter n is only the one that was not written boldly so the answer is forgotten thank you for your now Let's answer the processing questions. So these questions are from the activity blocks that block. You may write your answers in a one fourth sheet of paper and you only have one minute and 40 seconds to answer these questions. So you may begin. Okay, time is up. Let's answer the processing questions. Now, let's have another activity. So, the activity is you've got a friend. So, remember the time when you were weak and low? Fill out the speech balloons with your experiences in life that have to do with your responses in task 1. So, you may answer this in a one-half sheet of paper crosswise. And you will be given 3 minutes to answer this. 
ta task or this activity. Okay, start. Okay, time is up. Let's. While you were answering the activity, I know that you were reflecting in it. So now, let's answer these processing questions. So number one, what can you say about the activity? And number two, how did you feel when you recall all those experiences? So you may answer this in a one-half sheet of paper, and you only have. 2 minutes and 30 seconds to answer these questions. So you may start.
Okay, time is up. Let's check your answers. The topic that we will be discussing for this afternoon is all about effects of textual aids and getting information. But before that, we need to know about textual aids first. So, what are these textual aids? Textual aids are tools or materials that provide support and facilitate understanding of texts. These aids are most of the time graphical outlines or images that gives a general idea of a certain top topic. So this means they are tools or materials that can help us understand a text. And they are in graphical outlines or images. So here are the examples of the textual aid. So we have this. It's like a fish like diagram and flow diagram and this one which is Venn diagram. Here are the examples of textual aids. So we have cause and effect diagram. So it emphasizes the connection between the different concepts. This is called the most beneficial organize, organizer since it can be applied to all subject areas. So just like for example, when you read, you can understand or did not understand what you have read. So the cause there is when you read. And the effect is you can understand or did not understand what you have read. So this is its illustration. So we have here the cause which is located in the body of the fish and the effect which is located in the head of the fish. So next is we have flow diagram. So flow diagram is a sequence chart that shows series of events in order. So if you have a concept that has steps or has certain order or sequence, then it can be showed this kind of textual aid organizer. So just like for example, infancy to childhood to adulthood. So I know that we all undergo in this case. So it is an example of a flow diagram that is a sequence chart that shows series of events. So this is its illustration. So we have here start. So it is in the beginning. So these are the sequence or the series of events. Next is Venn Diagram. Venn Diagram is used to identify, classify, categorize, and recognize similarities and differences of two or more subjects, ideas, thoughts, and or concepts. This is actually the most commonly used textual aid. This is an instructional tool that can be found in handouts, textbooks, and even on standardized examinations. This can be found to you in some teacher resource materials. So we have an example there in the right side of this slide. So we have my expertise, dream jobs, and my wish. So the differences there are programmer, social worker, budget analyst, superman, pilot, fashion designer, musician, veterinarian. And their similarities are and the dream job. So we have gardener and pharmacist. So next is graphic organizers. Graphic organizers are visual displays that have key content information. These textual aids actually provide learners with a structure for abstract concepts. This kind of textual aids are usually created and designed for those who have trouble organizing information and thoughts. These are meant to help those students to visualize ideas that are organized. So for example, we have here on the right side of this slide, we have the math which is the term and is surrounded by the problem solving, addition, equations, and fractions. So these problem solving, addition, equations, and fractions are the words that connect the math. So they are the concepts which can help us to understand what math is. 
Another example of textual aids is concept map. So concept maps are general organizer or textual aids that can show the central thought with its matching characteristics. So these are actually helpful and excellent for brainstorming, refreshing stack, knowledge, and or generating alternative expressions. So these kind of maps can also be used to show or rank the hierarchical relationships as the most significant concept or concepts should be placed at the top. So at the right of this slide, uh, we have the illustration of a concept map. So at the top of the illustration, we have the concept map as the main thought. And at the bottom are the thoughts that connect to what concept map means. So the words at the bottom are like pieces of a puzzle that to connect it correctly, you will have your thought or you can establish a central thought, which is concept maps. In this slide, we will know the effects of textual aids as we answer the following questions that lies in this slide. So the first question is, what is the purpose of textual aids? So the answer of that question is, it helps students understand and comprehend any story, subject, or topic. They give emphasis on what should be focused on. So this means that with the help of the textual aids, we can easily understand and comprehend any story, subject, or topic because they can give emphasis on what should we focus on. Next is what is the importance of textual aids or what is the importance of using textual aids. So we have the answer here. Important words are sometimes written in bold to catch the attention of the reader. Italized words are used to meanings, synonyms, footnotes, and many others depending on the style of the writer which he believes would make the words more visible and easy to remember. This will make it easy for students to memorize, remember, and learn important words more quickly and easily. So what could be the effects of textual aids? So the answer of that question are the following. So the first one, it helps us understand and comprehend any story, subject, or topic. And then second, we have textual aids gives emphasis of what should be focused on. And third, we have textual will make us memorize, remember, and learn important words more quickly and easily. We are done in discussing textual aids and its effects. So now, let's have an activity. But before that, read the directions first so that you can answer the activity correctly. You only have two minutes to accomplish this activity, and the time starts now.
Okay, time is up. Let's check your answers. For number one, what is the illustration shows us? Yes, it's correct. The illustration tells us that it is a graphic organizer. Good job. Number two, the illustration tells us that it is a... Yes, that's right. It is a concept map. So for number three, as what the illustration shows us, the answer for number three is, is it a Venn diagram? A flow diagram or is it a cause and effect diagram okay it's right it is a cause and effect diagram okay let's proceed to number four so number four shows us that it is a is it Venn diagram or is it a flow diagram okay that is correct the answer for number is Venn diagram and lastly the number five is a flow diagram because we have graphic organizer for number one number two we have the concept map number three we have the cause and effect diagram and four, we have the Venn diagram so there are no other options so the answer for number five is a flow diagram okay that's the activity now let's proceed for our quiz for today so the direction is give at least five effects of textual aids in understanding better the text so for every item correct we have two points so you only have five minutes to answer this quiz so the time starts now